Hello, first graders. Welcome back. It is time for another week of vocabulary. So last week was a short week. We were supposed to have our Valentine's party, some star testing. We had bad weather. We were virtual. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We're back to the straight and narrow. We're back to our spelling. We're back to our vocabulary. We're back to our sight words. We want to keep moving forward because the more words we learn, the better um, our brain can be. And when we write, the more words we have to use. So this is a perfect vocabulary word for this week. So this week in our Making Meaning lessons, we are going to continue to wonder. And this week, we're going to wonder about George Washington. So we talked about George Washington a little bit when we were talking about our United States um, symbols and President's Day. So George Washington was an amazing hero in United States history. We're also learning all about African-American heroes right now for Black History Month. So our first word is hero. I bet you automatically kind of know what you think hero means, but this week we're gonna nail that definition. So a hero. So this little girl's um, talking to this pilot. This pilot might be her hero. So a hero is someone you look up to because the person is brave or good or has done something special. So all of the African-American heroes we've been learning about, Rosa Parks, Ruby Bridges, Jackie Robinson. This week we're gonna talk about Harriet Tubman. George Washington Carver. We've also learned about presidents who are heroes, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln. We can even think about heroes in our everyday lives. Maybe your mom is your hero or your dad or your grandma because they take care of you every day and they're very special to you. So heroes, once again, they're people who are brave, good, and they've done something special. So I will say you guys are my heroes. Living through this pandemic, coming to school every day, whether it's online or in the classroom, you're brave. You're not afraid of anything. And you can be someone's hero. So hero, yes, we talk about those big people who have already died and gone before us. But we have heroes right here in our everyday lives as well. Our next vocabulary word is track. Tra-ack. Track. You see what this boy is doing with his magnifying glass? And you can see... Someone or something must have walked ahead of him, and he's kind of trying to track their steps. So track means search for a person or animal by following a smell or footprints on the ground. So this boy is trying to track these footprints to figure out who might have just walked on, it looks like sand. Or if they were little dog footprints, he might be trying to track his dog. And then with the footprints, there might be a smell that helps us find what we're looking for. So you can see right here, he's making footprints. So if someone comes behind him to track him, they'd be using his footprints to figure it out. So they're searching. When we track, we search for a person or animal by following footsteps or a smell. Our next word is another word Miss Gates uses a lot. This word is persevere. When we persevere, we, you can see those people that are walking up that steep hill. But when we persevere, we never give up. So heroes are people who persevere, just like Ruby Bridges. She never gave up. We're going to learn even more this week when we watch our movie. She never gave up. She never let people stop her from what, from where she wanted to go. When we persevere, we do not give up. You keep trying even when something is difficult. So when I always tell you guys, even if it's hard, try your best, persevere, get to the end goal. Even if it's hard, you push through. You can see this really steep hill. This boy and his mom are trying to persevere to get to the top. They're never going to get up, give up till they get there. And our last word, respect. Ooh, I like these vocabulary words this week. We all know what it means to respect someone. When we respect our teacher, or we respect our parents, or we respect our grandparents, or we respect our classmates, when we respect someone, you have a good opinion of the person. You admire or like them because of what the person has done or how the person has behaved. You respect people who treat you correctly. You respect adults because they take care of you. We respect each other because we are each other's classmates and we're all children of God. So respect means you have a good opinion of the person. So you can see these kids respect the doctor.